Hey everyone, it's Gab. If you enjoy the YouTube content, you might also enjoy watching me on Twitch. You can find the links in the description down below. And I hope you all enjoy this video. Is this a keep? On the draw. I think I'll keep. <laughs> it's all sketch. It asks. Pretty bad hand for seven. Would anyone mulligan? Oh, I'll update the screen deck for two. GLHF today, Gab. Best. Thanks for the 29 months. Hope you and everyone's having a good one. So yesterday I recorded a prelim for my channel final ball video with this deck. I don't know, for some reason it, it appealed to me and I'm not gonna spoil, but I enjoyed playing the deck and I wanted to, I made a few changes um, and just felt like giving it another try. There's also, um, showcases this weekend so i need a deck not sure blue black control is is the way i'd probably still play blue black control but the vamp matchup has been tough and i even lost to phoenix the other day which i think was mostly my fault but yeah i need a deck for saturday too for modern all right let's see if i can draw a deduce like a boss Gates, I'll take it. Probably worth it, even though my my token's gonna die. It still give me a creature in two turns. Looks like they mulled it into a rough one. Greetings, Macy. No cling. Push. Um, so I just spite this, or do I want to make a shard, get a fable? I think I kind of like spiking, spite in, keep the board clear, discard torch, spirit of awakening, I'm negate man up. That's fine. Let's see. Not our creativity, okay. All right, well, that was easy. <clears throat> Did it nothing. I'm a little worried about the end. Someone cast that card against me the other day. I'm assuming that they cast that out of, it was Dreddy Bass out of, um, out of the VAM stack. Let's see if it's stock. I'm assuming most lights play at least one. John Rap. Extinction Event Path Necromancia. 
think I'm gonna bring in one horror. They're playing the 14%. No, they're playing black mid-range, right? Because they had castle locked. Well, I guess it could have been not that claim. No, they're playing they're playing mid-range. Alright, Torch can go. Anger is probably not great. <clears throat> Storm Rest seems fine. Reversal or test of talent? Maybe both. Like this. Okay, blue sky. You said you were moving to Tokyo. I'm not sure you said it was for a job. You're gonna be what kind of job? Lands and spells. Evergreen keep against the uh, the discard deck. Not the best spells. I guess that's a good thing. You can just stop deck the good spells. Assistant language teacher, I'll be teaching English to junior high school students. Congrats. How did you how did you find the job? You just apply online? Alright, makes sense. It's uh, the one card that makes a token that does something. I like Spide a lot in this deck. Hits Planeswalkers, gets rid of your tracks, so it just does so much. Lines up pretty well in the format, too. First two draw steps, seven drop, seven drop. Okay. Interesting. Ashok. Should I spite Ashok right away? Why did he bring that in against me? Does it stop anything in my deck? It doesn't stop creativity. Does the minus try and like get lucky and mill my win cons, I guess, maybe is a reasoning? The spell push is not completely awful against my deck. I don't think it works with that, right? That's kind of nice to just get an election field there for no reason. That's a reason. Okay, they didn't exile any tracks, so. Oh, scary. Next one is Trip Mine. That was a great draw, obviously. They can like token to protect their ash shock, I guess. I'd have another one. Yeah. Cycle in response. Could have maybe made a one one. Try and draw a two mana spell. Uh, let's see. Get creativity. Make them have it. Or I could play Fable. And then next turn I have both creativity and horror. Damn, I was going to play Fable. It could be bluffing. Like pause, like have a removal spell. Unfortunate. I 
We got one attract cell, one left. I have one card left, so they probably. I mean, I guess their last card in here could be a removal spell. Um, just discard two, go to eight. Let's discard the one, maybe. I'm going to keep cards in hand in case they draw a go blank. I mean, if they have bitter triumph, they're probably going to win this game. I think I just take it because it's really bad to trade if they just have another Shelly. They just lose on their upkeep. I feel like in so many creativity games, you can't get it out before turn seven ish, anyways, making it a fancy art to cast. That's true. Also, the threat of creativity forces your opponent to, like, play the game differently, keep mana up. I mean, that's valuable. Mm, they had another Shelly. Nice. That probably means they don't have bitter... Tr oh, they're just playing their last card in hand. In. Could have no spells, right? Technically, how it's not that far from not having a spell. It's always nice with the first one. Poster check, thank you. Nice torch. Obviously, the exile part is pretty important. I'm up to pay here. I don't want to use my removal on voice. Just main phase. Get rid of land, land. I think getting rid of one volcanic spite is okay. Could even get rid of creativity. I don't hate it. Could get rid of my entire hand. What do you think, chat? Full mulligan. It's kind of weird. I think the first three are clear. You keep creativity, get rid of both spites. Keep one spite. I think... Oh, I meant to get rid of both spites. Okay. Well, good thing I drew more spites, I guess. Here's the quote-unquote good news is that they probably want to play their company spells on their turn. Because they have voice in play. Wow. Okay. As their draw doesn't look like the greatest, so I might be okay. Was that no lands in like my top seven cards or something? Cool. 
Creativity can save me from Amalia. But I need to land. That's kind of unreal how poorly I drew after my open and fit. Like, I don't think you could have, like, stacked my deck for me to draw more poorly, really. You've got to be a, like, sub 1% occurrence. Plus, I, I wanted to, like, get rid of an extra spider or something. Why does it open in court now? Because they have voice, because I could have negate in my deck. I just have counters in my deck. Move out. Yeah, I can creativity and all, yeah. Like, perfect, because it shuffles. Oh, wait, no, does that mean to get Reservoir in play? If I create video and Malia? That's kind of funny. Mm. Yeah, I mean, I think they just have... They have Reservoir on top, right? Okay, to get Thoughtsy, Safekeeping, Voice... This stuff down seems okay. And Shark Texan could be okay too. Could fetch Riddle. And for Smart Commands. I don't want to cut Sensor. I'm on the play. They're usually better on the play and they help me make my land drops. No land plays. Nice. Um, let me just test of talent that. See their hands. Veteran Innkeeper Company. They have Reservoir in hand. They have one Assassin's Trophy. They keep an old four company, two cores. Redain. Returned the Sentinels. It's played cards. That's nice. I mean, these sensors are going to be good, but... Oh, my God. I'm such an idiot. <laughs> Brain fog. I'd say I was supposed to play Myrex and Cycle with Myrex. Kind of sucks to not be able to counter that innkeeper. I get the treasure for free. Hey, Monolith, thanks for the nine months. Just torch it now. Save spite for Redain. Yeah, yeah. Veteran first. Man, that's such a disaster. That game would have been so easy. Let's spite it now.
Oh, that was a draw. I mean, no their hand. I mean, they could go like on tap land, find the combo. But I could probably break the combo pretty easily if I hit well here. No, I guess not. Um, take Auto War, maybe? Gate, Creativity, and. Yes, Auto War. Damage is reservoir twenty or fifty. Fifty. All right, they did not found a non tap plan, so should be game. Okay, found land. It's just tapped. Oh. I throw them the anger. Not enough to, right? That's then surplus negate. Whatever. They gotta assume I have anger of the gods in my deck, right? That's like most obvious card I would have. Guns are usually not the best, especially against the keeper, but on, on the play, it's, it's decent. All right, that went well. On the draw, maybe I'll do Perspired Command over Shark Typhoon, actually. Just more removal, more goldfish stuff. <laughs> it would be amazing to just have more torches for this matchup. Like, fourth banger and up to four torches would probably be nice, but I guess I don't need to if I just draw them like a boss. They do have four Thoughtsies, so hand could, could get real awkward real fast. Oh, that's nice. Am I ever gonna talk something right away? I might. Spite or anger? Spite. Valencia flexing. Yeah, good old Sentinel. Ah, big sign. Classic. Um, Sage is pretty good too against my combo. I need um I need my one my one storm's wrath here. Come on. Creativity. I don't know how I get out of this mess. I could creativity for two next turn. They're sentinels. I got anger plus torch one. And so frustrating. Uh, it's a one draw. You know, the thought season to double sentinel or it's thought season to sentinel where my hand kind of sucked. Uh. Man, losing that first game was brutal. 
a game where I just bricked on lands, like my no lands in my top six or seven cards. That was so stupid. Double bot sees double sentinel, must be nice. All right, I need Volcanic Spite, Fable. Something good. Right on time. Right on freaking time. That's pretty good draw. This is not a million of good draws for me there. I'll take it. Oh, you know what? Maybe I should have led them combo. Yeah, I think I messed up negating that chord. They might have not gotten the combo though. Oh, they wouldn't have gotten the combo. It's not even a combo. They don't have the life gain creature. What do you do here? Do you chump? Or do you kill Amalia? Or just chump? I guess I'll lose, most likely. Could not hit Ether Flux Reservoir, I guess. If they hit Ether Flux Reservoir, I think I'll lose. Damn, one mana short. All right, we got an opening hand, and it's kind of ugly. I have a lot of outs, though, and our removal. I think this is a keep. Any blue source which have, like... 20 off almost, I think. Volcanic Spide removal. Alright, it's the vamps. Right on time. Nice, no cavern. Do I just play my own here? Seems good. No combo, that's nice. Don't need a third basic mountain. What else am I getting rid of here? Just basic mountain. Could get rid of sensor too. Oof. I think you can safely uh, put a track sign to play here. No ways for them to interact. 
Creativity. Riddle and Mutavolt or Rx, probably Mutavolt. I thought about putting like a Planeswalker. I wish I was a good Planeswalker in these colors. Old value to hit on the track, so. There are some Planeswalkers who make tokens, like Sahili maybe, or any of the Sahilis, Rawl. Keto. Five mana Rawl, yeah, I mean, such a mediocre card. Mana is not the worst, mana boost. Karn makes tokens. Yeah, I mean, all these cards are just so mediocre. Feels bad. Let's see. That's the upside of our playing Jeskai. I don't know, I haven't played Jeskai deck. Doesn't seem like it's a very good deck either. I mean, I think Volcanic Spy is just a better card than Lightning Helix, too. These kind of decks. Could just make tokens with Sukenzan. Then creativity for two. Seems fine. Hope I don't hit another Rain Ripper. Okay, good beats. Pick another creativity. Fable. And what should I take? Torch, maybe? Or smart command? The stock list, I think, our, our PT list only had one, uh, one bitter triumph in the main, so it should be good. That's a little annoying. The second one. Man, I hit Vayne Ripper when they only had two left. We did drew it either way. We're gonna take it easy and attack Soren. I can copy Spirit Token and Creativity for two. That seems pretty good. Also, just keep Counter Spell Mana up. Doesn't seem like they can do much either way. How do they beat an Atraxa? Uh, they could draw a Soren. And that would not be the end of the world. I guess I could draw a discard spell for creativity. Once again, not the end of the world. Ooh, anger is kind of nice. How does anger work, though? Me, anger doesn't really work here. I'll see garbage time, I think. They don't block. It's fine if they block. I get the creativity for my Freda track, so. Okay. 
There's a lot of damage. All right, can they hit Vayner for number four? I think it really matters. A bunch of creatures. So, creature is kind of annoying, I guess. And Preacher is almost better than Vayner right now. Actually. I'm just going to take it. I think the sensor's time is uh, well past. Hard cast? I don't know. Have you been good? Only good chatters get hard cast Shark Typhoon. I should have played pre combat. I guess that's going to do it. Right. Claim. Claim you've been good. Fine. Yatta! Not sure what that hive attack's about, though. Seems all sus. From the ghastly eerie, I can see to the ends of the world, and from this vantage point, I declare with utter certainty that this one is in the bag. Oh, he goes into the graveyards. Should have taken the tracks so. out. Lose. All right. All right, sideboard. Someone played the end against me yesterday. So I don't know if I should go with a Hallbreaker split or not. Tears is for that matchup. What did I board out yesterday? Anger can go. Riddle can go. I'm gonna do one horror. Should I do two and one or three and one? A three and one. Like this? From the ghastly eerie, I can see. Okay, solid hand. Can't complain every time you have. Uh, Idiot players call hand. races with queen ten. They don't even know how to spell poker. Yeah, seriously. Don't even know how to spell poker. Ever roost? Oh, where's my sensor chat? Tears would be nice to you. All insurance against the soaring vein ripper draw.
Like that would not a pretty mediocre draw. Is this version better than the worm one? Feels like the worm one hasn't been good in a while, so just trying something different. This is also a little more fun. Worm one, you have to build was a big score probably to get the double clue, just different deck. Four main neg negates. Yeah, you can play more negates. I started with one yesterday, I added a second one. Hmm. Noxious. What's the play here? Attack and spite? Or for smart command and spite? Oh, I get a treasure. Hmm. That makes it easy, I think. Oh, more treasure to ride. My hand is good. Two damage. Create a treasure token. Oh, I take the damage from that draw too. That makes sense. Church of Sensor, yeah. This is like the perfect dead first sensor too. You're just trying to buy time. I mean if you think negate's so good against Vamp, sensor is even better. Can counter the two four. All you really want is counter their free drop. Alright. It's main deck or main face here. That negates. Kind of want to wait a turn. I don't think I'm scared of anything. Do we need to have double discard spell? Surprised they're not sacking Mutavolt here. Don't want to block with Mutavolt, I'm fine with that. I'm gonna get double attracts up plus four. Full grip. Yellow hat Magaber. Come the treasure, hoping to find a one mana removal spell. This dude did use Fable. Cataract. Kill Mario. A year and a half. Hope you're doing good, buds. I guess I'll take tears. Is that all I get? No land. Not the most dominating. Didn't draw my last torch either. I felt pretty good. I beat that matchup yesterday too. It does make sense. It does feel like you should. Your your cards line up fairly well. They don't have a ton of discard. They don't have Bangbuster. Just cheap removal into Fable is pretty good against them. The Vayner Ripper combo, you kind of go over the top. Smart Command lines up well. Like, everything lines up pretty well. Wait, what? Same hand? So 
So the history is like literally all blue light control and niftalite. I guess I should get rid of volcanics fight. No, not like this. I guess it's actually it's not that bad to have two creativity and thoughtsies. Myrex is the MVP in the bindings matchup. That makes sense. They're pretty bad against creature lands. Okay, so they probably don't have a second discard spell. They probably just took Thoughtseize hoping to draw another one in their top three draw steps or whatever, or by the time I get a token. That'd be my guess. Oh no, okay, they had a second Thoughtseize. And trip, trip Mulligan, and I don't think I had a single blue source in any of the hands. Like 20, 25 cards, 23 cards without blue mana. Oh, okay. I'll take it. Oh, hello. I think I play the lands. I think I tried against Phoenix again, play a bit more of that matchup. That matchup's, I think it's going to be bad almost no matter what, but get a sense for if my side or plan's a bit better, if my main can maybe win a game one sometimes. This deck does seem good against Vamp, and there's not a ton of decks that are good against Vamp, like... Amalia. Amalia's probably fine. Maybe it's not the worst meta call. The Vamp matchup is as good as my results indicate. Damn it, Stemi. Why so dark? What's up with the self, uh... Appreciation. Do you deduce here? It's good. I'm not sure I have to put all these stops, by the way. I think it gives it, yeah, it goes on the stack anyways, okay. Ivory Tower Report. Yellow Hat Pigeon is back to tell you it's been 82 lonely months up here on the Ivory Tower. We are enjoying the Ur content but Yellow Hat Pigeon is happy to see Yellow What S God is back in Pioneer. The Scare of Gods. Is that the answer? The missing piece. One Scare of Gods. What's up, buddy Tal? Yeah, Fadi Tal is the uh, longest, longest known subscriber. Exactly half as long as Padital P-O-G-G-I-E-S. It's all pretty good. That is funny. GTFO, appreciate it. Thanks for the resub. The Bane Ripper. And I only have two creativities left in my deck. They're slow rolling the fatal push. Scarab God is always the answer. Oof. I don't know about that. Sure, I'll take it. Rather dead than a fatal push. 
Oh, chef cycled. Oops, loose, very loose. I was so careful last turn too. Then maybe tag them. That'll well, probably block, right? Well, maybe not. Maybe I should attack both at them. That would be more likely to block. It is still pretty tempting for them to block here. What about Hallbreaker mainboard in blue black? Why? Because Waffle did it. Waffle was playing main main deck that the other day. Didn't do him much good though. You consider the green tap land that makes tap lands if you have seven lands that were indestructible waste. Mm hmm. So it's like cheaper to cast the track side, so one minute cheaper. But the downside is it's coming to play tapped always. Over Gearhulk? I don't think so. My problem with Gearhulk is it's already um Already too expensive, too slow sometimes, and horror is even... It's like one more mana, and it doesn't do anything to come in the turn it comes into play besides just block. Sounds not great. Do I just kill Goblin Shaman here? And pray my top card is good? Probably. I don't think it's realistic to double removal spell Vein Ripper, even if I do draw a second one. There's going to be so many resources, so much life. No reflection. No. I mean, I basically need to draw creativity, right? I guess I can draw an attract, so. Yeah, you don't even have to consider to make horror one mana cheaper to play in, in the sideboard games against control. You don't have a lot of one mana spells. How are we ahead on clock? Dude, I'm always ahead on clock against, like... Three quarters of my opponents, I'm ahead on clock. Just, you're just victim of fake news. Make you believe I'm slow. It's like the end of the road for me. All right, the mulligan to five was not able to overcome the double foxy's draw. It was the miser for land drop. They actually didn't do much, and I got a fable into play first. It was kind of close. Okay, so minus anger and minus riddle. Plus one horror in case you have the end. Plus a couple tears. Yeah, we're good. Chat, while my opponent's in the tag, I'd like to shout out my sponsor for another few days, Surfshark VPN. Um, you can get a massive discount with my link if you're looking to buy into a VPN right now. Surfshark's one of the best ones out there. Um, a lot of people unironically recommend using a VPN these days, and VPN just protects your data, protects your password. If you use Wi-Fi in public spaces a lot, if you want to unlock regional content on Netflix, YouTube, streaming services, you can even like, Pat was saying he subscribes to services using like, you know, pretending to be from another country to pay cheaper, to pay some stuff cheaper, even like Twitch, Twitch subs. You can do that, even though it's not very cool for the streamer. But yeah, just tons of uses for VPN. And if you're gonna, you know, if you're gonna sign up, might as well get a massive discount. Ultimate price. Every time I acknowledge anything idiotic you say, you should already be grateful for that. What about a lot of Narsets and to Uritai? I've played these builds before. I just Included that Narset's just worse than Deluge and Digs. That's my opinion. 
It was someone, I think someone, uh... Hey! One out of a hundred, someone, at least I didn't break. Someone used my code for HelloFresh too. That's you, I saw me. It's tough though, it's new customer. Been spammed so much. Like everyone at this point who was interested probably has one, but whoever you are, legend. I'm happy to censor allegedly any card here. Makes their Soren draw worse. Maybe they need the land drop. They did play a turn to Mutavolt, so who knows? Just happy to keep the board clear. Hoping for the Soren. Hope they have the combo. Damn it. How good would have been Vin? They go Soren, Vin Ripper. I just untap, kill Vin Ripper, King Soren. They're just like a two for one to him. No, that was much worse for me. Damn it. Uh, do you discard the whore here? Probably right. It stings a bit. I'm not that far. Seven mana. Uh. Yeah, that's the new anti vam tech. On the counter, so you don't have to pay for the Vein Ripper trigger. It is these. The tears can go, and I guess the land can go since I get a bunch of draws. Oh, maybe, you know what? They can just hard cast Vein Ripper next turn. Might have punted discarding tears. It's kind of sketchy to keep it, though. Ah, it's pretty sketchy to keep it. I could have drawn a removal spell for the Shaman token, too. And, okay, yeah. It makes sense that they would block. It's kind of scary for them to just... Let me untap there. Just, oops. Oops, old fables. Three, two, one. Hello, White Fangs. Hello, Fresh. Hello, Fresh. Doesn't sound quite as good. You need a, you need another. I feel like you need another syllable. Monkey <laughs> says, "What's Nasif win?" Ooh, Nassif speaking of Hello Fresh, I'm going to do the Hello you, Fresh cooking must stream. Not know what I don't very know. Well. Either tonight or tomorrow night. This is not a guy who brings win conditions. Or maybe tomorrow for lunch? Hmm, maybe I'll do tomorrow for lunch actually before the stream. That sounds kind of good. We'll see. And I also want to do a lasagna cooking stream. That will probably be next week. I don't have the stuff for lasagna right now. What am I cooking? So let's see. We got... Options are... Tart. Pie, Gouda, and spinach. Chachuca with uh, goat cheese. Or probably this one sounds more exciting. Risotto, tomato, and cocoa. Coconut, I guess. Is it coconut? Coconut doesn't make a ton of sense. Why does it say cocoa? Garlic, onion, spice, parsley, paprika. Oh, maybe just like. Yeah, I'm not sure. What am I? Tomate et coco. Oh, there is coconut milk. Okay, use coconut milk instead of. Uh... Where's the coconut milk in the list of ingredients, though? I don't see it. Weird. Anyways. Opponent was another fable. Let's counter this. Oh, an Italian guy says this is not a risotto. The food police. I, I, I'm not a big fan of food policing. I don't care where you're from. 
He taught the charitable, yeah. Was study in French hello or goodbye? Set hello. Study is hello. Well, you can you can use it for goodbye too. Actually. That fatal push to block there. <laughs> the worst, the worst hard cast shark ever. Come on, Atraxa. I don't even know what do I want to draw. Myrex, Mutavolt. Hey, let's go. <laughs> not sure it's gonna matter, but no, I'm already right in the bin. I only brought one in. Annoying. Nigget to copy it. Okay, that was good. How should I attack here? Copy the sharks and both at Sorin? If they block Shaman Token, I can sag the treasure, make a copy, sack a reflection. If they block my shark, I'm happy. All right, I think this is acceptable. And I just torched the reflection, probably. Attacking the treasure to get the scry. Hey, Superwalk. We were, we were waiting for you to, to wake up and join the stream. Standard next. I'm not sure what I'm going to play. I don't want to play the, the combo deck anymore because I timed out again. I played... When was it yesterday? I was like, I'll play one match. I played a few matches of ladder. First match, mirror match was the Salt Eye Ram deck. I win game one. I lose game two because and I just I, I just timed out basically. I roped. I lost game two because I roped when I was about to combo them. And then do I bargain? Uh, this car is pretty huge, right? And in game three, I just timed out. It was a miserable experience, so I'm just done with that deck. Yeah, I felt bad too, because people were like, oh, I've been roping with that deck and timing out. I was like, oh, I didn't have that issue, like, because the first day I didn't. But then it happened like twice. So, sorry. Sorry to anyone where I kind of like dismissed them a bit. I feel like they make you do it. You must, yeah, yeah, actually. The one time I roped, I, I would have been fine. I, I I had the mana to just stack new my two Jace and just cast them, but I didn't realize right away. And I went for an extra loop and that cost me. And the second time I was just short. I think if you're really fast and you've accumulated, you know, all your timeouts, what's the max for? You might be okay, but I'm not even sure if you always have the time to get four timeouts if the game ends earlier. <laughs> yeah, ultimate prize. <laughs> Do I think that Fable will get banned? No. In Pioneer? I don't think it needs to get banned. Best deck doesn't even really play Fable. But they're just dead if they attack. Right? Am I crazy? They have no cards. I just make a shark on tap, make two more sharks. Okay. Well, 
Well, I sure hope so, because or else I'm, uh... Oh, you're right, I could have just copied my fables. I forgot. I mean, I guess it was just faster to do what I did, just time efficient. It's all the streams about being time efficient. Hopefully they don't just have, like, copter into some dorks. Put it on them all this time. Put it on them all to five. I could get screwed. My hand could interact poorly. I could just not draw removal, but... Need to, like, not draw lands, not draw removal. They need to have a, a draw that does something on five. They could have discard into Preacher, and then have Preacher carry them. This deck self to like four toughness creature. Do I just need to play like Roast in my sideboards? Is there a better card than Roast to kill the, the free four or the preacher? The green free four? One of the reasons why I like four sensors, because they're good against the free drops. Right? That kills neither kills Preacher, nor does it kill the, the green free four. <laughs> ah, Flame Slash. Flame Slash would be pretty solid in Pioneer. In Flame Slash, it's kind of modern playable. Obliterating Bolt. But when you played, which one did you play? Ether Gust doesn't hit the, the Black Preacher. Bolt is nice. It finishes with Sorin. It exiles maybe against a. The Vein Reaper. Alright, so we're both both dirtling a bit. Oh, Fires of Victory. Yeah, I could play Fires. Shelly. Shelly is a problem if they have a removal for my creature. What's the play here? Draw two treasure? Oh yeah, if I hit horror. I was thinking, yeah, this is probably the best. My hands, I could use a lot of cards in my hands, but... That's a good call. Saved a one mana spell. Team events can go. Everything is really slow. Maybe just a shark typhoon. Ah, I could get rid of Shelly. Yeah. That's a nice little insurance. Could wrap their board. I think I like attracts at first. How much damage do I take? Bitter Triumph. Take six down to nine. Take two from my draw step. <coughs> down to seven. <coughs> I actually did hit horror. Hmm. I think targeting Shelly is bad. Like, Preacher is really good for them. This Preacher into Storm's Wrath is not that good. It's just really Vein Ripper. Got a Torch, right? I think. That better triumph. I'm in a tough spot. They can kill my horror. They're gonna take creativity probably. And then I'm left was left in top deck mode. Obviously they don't have bitter triumph. They could have Lily too. Lily would be kind of a disaster because Lily force kind of forces me to wrath right away. 
took the deuce, so that means they don't have better triumph. Nice. I could get rid of my horror. That's good on a track, so. That was a good draw. That was a really good draw. Good morning, Ted. Good morning, Bakersfield. Combi counter, you say? All right, definitely getting rid of Negate and Storm's Wrath and saving creativity. All right, nice. Do you bounce it and give them a, a block token? So, GG, yeah, probably. Like, better charms, not enough anymore. Nothing's enough. Been streaming on Discord, Ted? To your sons? Oh, on Twitch? Oh, okay. I guess the channel is Ted Dursley. Should we come and follow? Come and say hi next time? Early evening Pacific. Ah, uh, so like middle of the night for me. All right. Little bread and butter free one. Nice. Beat Vamps twice. Lost to Amalia, which doesn't seem like the worst matchup, and then we beat Mono Black mid range. It's not the friendliest meta for Blue Black. The showcase could be different. The showcase could be more, uh, more Phoenix. 